What is going on guys? It is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to change your background and your theme on your PlayStation 4. So you'll notice I have a custom theme right now as my home screen background, and it's really easy for you to change yours as well. There are two different methods we can use to change our background, and both of them are extremely easy. The first one is just using our PlayStation 4 console, and the second method involves using a flash drive and a computer. So both are really easy and simple, but I will note you'll get a higher quality image using the computer method over the PlayStation method. So I'm going to show you the easiest method first, which is using just our PlayStation. So to get started, head down to your internet browser. And once it finally loads, you will see this page most likely right here, or you'll see the PlayStation 4 website either way. Just head up here to the search bar or press triangle. And we can type in whatever background we want. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to search for calming backgrounds. And from here, it's just like any other device. It's like a Google search page. So I'm going to head over here to images. And in here, we have a lot of nice calming backgrounds we can use for our home screen. So um, try to avoid all the YouTube links because obviously these are videos and it's going to be hard to capture any sort of background for our console. Uh, Pinterest, I try to avoid that too. Of course, you wouldn't be able to use this anyway because it is a phone background. So I'm just gonna stick with these down here. Um, so I like this beach wallpaper. So I'm going to open up this website and just keep in mind, it might take a while for the site to load in. The PlayStation web browser is not the best. So just be patient with it. All right, so mine is loaded in, so I'm going to go down to that beach wallpaper right here, and I'm going to full screen this web page by pressing the square button, and I'm going to now zoom in by pressing the R3 button. I can zoom in twice, so this is the largest it can get, and now I'm going to center the wallpaper with the directional buttons. And you know what? As I'm looking at this picture up close, I'm noticing there are some watermarks on it. So that's another thing you're going to have to worry about with these backgrounds. Some of them have these ugly watermarks on them. So just be careful when you are choosing your background. I'm going to skip this. And I'm going to go down to this one with the tree. This looks good to me. So I'm going to once again center it with the directional buttons. So this is about as close as I can get. So I'm going to move the cursor off the screen so that's not going to be in my capture. And from here I just press the share button, hold it for about two seconds, and let go and you should be able to see that icon over there. On the left, that means we have captured this image right here. So we can go back out of our web browser, back to the home menu, and we can go to our library. And then one of the first options here should be the capture gallery, open that up. And in here we have all the screenshots we've taken with all of our games. So head down to Other, and in here we can see that screenshot I just took. So uh, this right now would not make a great background because we have the cursor, we have that watermark at the bottom, we have a piece of an ad down there. So I want to crop this so it looks better as my background. So press Options, and head over here to Set as Background. And in here we can just use the R and L stick to zoom in and move the image around. So I'm gonna zoom in to right about here looks good. We don't have any watermarks in our way. And I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so we get more of the image. So this looks good right here. So I can select this crop by pressing X. And we can now select a background for this image. So basically when we go to the settings or user options, we need a colored background like you see right behind uh, this option right here. So I'm going to just make it dark blue to fit with the theme we already have going with the uh, the moon and the water and the dark tree. But you can set it to whatever color matches your background the most. So dark blue works for me. I'm going to select that and I'm going to press apply. It'll take a second here and it'll just move us right back to the capture gallery. So I'm going to back all the way out of here to the home screen and we can see our newly created backgrounds. So it looks good, it's centered nicely, uh, the quality is not the best, mainly because we took a screenshot of a web page, so that's never really going to be the best quality. But this will work just fine if your PlayStation is the only device you have to work with. So yeah, pretty simple with just the PlayStation. Now the second method is by using a USB flash drive and your computer. So let's head over here to our settings, down to themes, select theme. 
And in here we have all of our different theme options to choose from. So if we have games that have themes that come with them, we can select a specific game theme. PlayStation offers, of course, a lot of default themes here as well. We can buy a theme in the store. Now I will note there is a difference between what we can set ourselves and what we can buy on the store. So the store themes are all dynamic. So we have custom backgrounds that can move around. We have icons that are completely changed. So we get a lot more of an overhaul of our system with these dynamic themes. And there are some nice free ones. There's the PlayStation Plus 10th anniversary. That's nice. There are a few game themes like Final Fantasy that are free. PlayStation Dreams, uh, Untitled Goose Game. So there are a few in here that are free. And of course, there are the paid themes as well. So yeah, just keep in mind, dynamic themes include all the logos and all of the icons that you'd see on your home screen, whereas your custom theme only includes the background. So if we back out of here, we can go down to custom theme. And this takes us to the same screen we were just at with our screenshot. So if we press select image, we can go down and we can see the two options here. Once again, we can go to our system storage and select a screenshot, or we can use a USB storage device. So a flash drive, an external hard drive, we can plug that in and we can get files from there. So if we select this option, I don't have a USB plugged in right now, so it's not going to detect it, but you'll notice it says that we need to create a folder named images on our USB flash drive in order to actually get our screenshot or our background from that flash drive. So we'll have to name it images, all caps, of course, and that has to be the top directory on that USB storage device. So the top file on there, we can just move all our images into that file and then we'll be able to access it on our console. So let's head over to my computer where we can move the images over and we can get the files ready. All right, so I'm here on my computer desktop and something I forgot to mention over on the PlayStation 4 was that we need a background image with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 in order for it to work as our background. So if you have an image that is larger or smaller, it is not going to work on the PS4. So when we're searching for our image, be sure to type in 1920 by 1080 to specify that it is that resolution. So I'm just going to search 1920 by 1080 wallpaper and I'm just going to choose one of these generic ones that comes up first here so this one looks good to me and we can tell that this image is the right resolution by looking down here in the bottom left it says right there it is 1920 by 1080 so we know we have the right size so I'm going to download it and I'm just going to name it PS4 background and I'm going to save it all right, so I have my background on my desktop here. So now I'm going to create a folder for the image. So I'm going to name it images, all caps, just like the PlayStation 4 told me to. And now I'm going to just drag this image into that folder. And I already have a flash drive plugged in. So I'm just going to open up my file explorer here and I'm going to drag it in. And because I only have like two files on this drive, it automatically appears as the top directory but if you have a lot of files on your flash drive be sure to rename them or reorder them so that this is the top file or folder on your flash drive so everything looks good to me so I'm now going to eject it and I'm going to put it into my PS4 all right so I'm back here on the console side on the same screen as we left off in case you forgot we were in the select device section of the custom theme setting so from here we just go down to USB storage device and because I have that file named images as the top directory, my PS4 background image appears as the first file here. So I'm just going to select that cherry tree. And same uh, screen as before, we can sort of center the image if it's not already centered, but I like how it is right now. So I'm just going to press enter. And uh, same settings apply as with the screenshot, select your color. So this dark blue works just fine. So now I'm going to press apply and once it finally loads we can back out of here to the home screen and we can see that nice high quality background. So you will notice that it is a higher quality image. I don't see any of the smaller pixels and the fuzziness that we did on the screenshot. So this looks a lot nicer to me compared to the screenshot method and for me it's really worth it to go through the extra hassle of dragging out my computer because I will actually enjoy looking at this image more. So. Both methods are really great, they're really easy. Of course, if you are only stuck with your PlayStation 4, the screenshot method works just fine. And if you find a higher quality image to take a screenshot of, 
the uh, resolution won't be as much of a problem. So that about does it for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. If you really love my content, subscribe. Uh, other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.